It is not always and everywhere a gloomy picture, however, and there are many examples of good practices being implemented by individual media houses, informed by research and policy recommendations produced by academic researchers, women's media associations, media unions, and political institutions. As well as in-house initiatives such as developing training programs for women into leadership, shadowing, and mentoring schemes, there are a range of other mechanisms which have been established to encourage the media industry to become more gender equal. Gender sensitive indicators now exist which enable organisations to measure how well they are doing against specific criteria, including the number of women who occupy senior roles. These have been developed by organisations including the European Institute for Gender Equality and UNESCO. Associations of women media professionals are also developing a range of initiatives to support women's career development, including networking and training activities. The International Women's Media Foundation provides training for women through its Progressive Women's Voices programs, and the Pointer Institute has been running a leadership academy for women in digital media expressly focused on the skills and knowledges needed to achieve success in the digital media environment. In response to mainstream media's historical myopia in recognising the achievement of women journalists and media professionals, for example, men receive more than three times as many Pulitzer Prizes than women, a number of organisations, mostly gender-focused, have launched their own awards. In 2007, the Alliance of Women Film Journalists launched an annual award to recognise women filmmakers and photojournalists. For the past 30 years, the International Women's Media Foundation has honoured women's contribution to press freedom across the globe by recognising the courageous work of women journalists. These prizes not only acknowledge women's craft, professionalism and expertise, but can also provide exposure and a useful stepping stone to the next career move. In this unit, we've considered a number of factors associated with women's career development, or rather, some of the issues which make it difficult for women to achieve senior decision-making roles in media organisations. But we've also discussed some positive responses to these issues, and you can see more examples of good practices in the Resources Bank. Gunilla Iverson, past president of the International Association of Women in Radio and Television, is clear about the value of professional associations and the importance of women networking together and sharing experiences as ways to build their careers. I hope you've enjoyed the unit and I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.